Jie Sun Sa Ho Blu, Vietnamese imitation pomegranate dessert. This is so pleasing to the eyes and to the taste buds. I love the fun, chewy texture each ruby red jewel has on the outside and the crunch of the water chestnuts inside. Wait till you see how easy it is to make. You will need the following. One cup of diced water chestnuts about the size of pomegranate seeds. Here's the brand I'm using. Two teaspoons of red food coloring, quarter teaspoon of concentrated pandan extract syrup, one and a half cup tapioca flour. For the coconut sauce, one cup of coconut cream, three quarter cup sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, one cup water, half tablespoon cornstarch. Let's start by making our coconut sauce. In a one quart saucepan, add your three quarter cup of sugar, quarter teaspoon salt, one cup water, one cup coconut cream, half tablespoon cornstarch, and mix well. Bring to a boil on high heat. Don't worry if it seems like this would be too sweet because the sweetness becomes diluted once you pour it over the shaved ice. As soon as it boils, take it off heat, let it cool, and then refrigerate. Now let's make our imitation pomegranate seeds. Pour in one teaspoon of red food coloring. Stir to evenly coat the chestnuts. Sprinkle on one tablespoon of sugar. Add another teaspoon of red food coloring. To make the deeper color of red, add one quarter teaspoon of pandan extract and mix well. Now sprinkle on some of the tapioca flour and use a fork to mix them well. Continue to coat the chestnut pieces. They will stick together so using a fork works best to separate them. Transfer them to a large plate and continue to sprinkle on more tapioca flour. This builds up on the coating on the nuggets. You will notice that they will take on cute little forms. Now use a strainer spoon to pick up the little seeds and place them in a bowl as shown. Be careful not to scoop up the remaining flowers as well or else it will clump together when you boil them. Okay, have ready a bowl of ice and water. Bring a pot of water to a boil. Carefully spoon in your nuggets. Make sure not to pour in too many at once or they will clump together. Give it a good stir to prevent it from sticking to the bottom. Once they float to the surface, scoop them out with a strainer and place them into an icy cold water. This cold bath will stop the cooking process and prevent them from sticking together. Aren't they so very pretty? Serving them up is easy. Place a layer of them in the bottom of a glass, cover with some shaved ice, layer on another spoonful of red jewels, and pour in some sweet coconut sauce. Traditionally, it's served with slivers of sunsa gelatin, but I didn't have any on hand, so this will have to do for me. What an incredible, icy, fresh treat. Chewy on the outside with a surprise crunch in every bite, and all swimming in a refreshing coconut cream drink. Yum! Enjoy! Thank you for watching. Please support and subscribe. Connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, happy eating!